Big news for dreamers. The U.S. Supreme Court rejected President Trump's efforts to end DACA. 650,000 young immigrants will now be allowed to stay in the United States. The justice is denying the Trump administration's argument that the six-year-old program is illegal. Fox 35's Amanda McKenzie talking to a lawyer about what that means for the future. Uh, I can only try to imagine what uh, a DACA or a Dreamer feels every day, not knowing what tomorrow holds for them. Nayef Mubarak says while the Supreme Court rejected President Trump's effort to end legal protections for young immigrants, there is still uncertainty with what the future may hold for some 25,000 DACA recipients in Florida. For us, it is a great relief for many of our clients and our Dreamers, but we still need something permanent. You know, this just kind of delays the unknown for them uh, for another year and a half or so. The administration will still have the opportunity to try again. The Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program was created in 2012 as a way to protect children who were brought into the country illegally. We do hear a lot, why don't these people just legalize themselves? Why don't they just do it the right way? Well, the truth is there is no way. There is no way to just apply and become legal if you are ineligible for your manner of entry. Shut out from citizenship due to technicalities in the system. They were brought here by somebody and now they're serving a life sentence of not being able to get a permanent status in the United States. Moreover, to be eligible for DACA, you can't have major criminal history. You must be a, a pretty much a law-abiding citizen. So they are being screened. The Supreme Court ruling that the Trump administration did not follow proper procedure when attempting to end DACA means some 650,000 people nationwide can breathe a sigh of relief, at least for now. In Orange County, Amanda McKenzie, Fox 35 News.